hello everyone welcome back to this video series on clinical as tfl programming so one of the user has asked me to explain this piece of code which we were trying to use in creating macro variables when trying to program tfls so we had a data set called trt totals in which there were two variables treatment and trt total and there were three rows in this data set one two and three with the values of one two and three and in the associated trt total variable we had values of 30 20 and 50 so we were trying to create macro variables named trt1 trt2 and trt3 to store the associated numbers of 30 20 and 50 so the essentially we need three macro variables with these names and the values with the ones which are coming from this variable so what we are trying to do here is say for example let's say we know that sas processes one observation at a time and let's say sas is now processing this observation so let's see what happens so here when we have this we have as a first argument of the call simplex we have one more uh, catas function is being used in which we are trying to concatenate the text trt to the value present in tr treatment variable so we are trying to concatenate trt to the value present in treatment variable on the first observation the value is 1 so this would become trt1 so and for this macro variable we are using to we are asking sas to use the value from the trt total variable which is 30 so this would take a value of 30 now let's say sas is processing this second observation so which has a value of 2 in trt2 variable so this catas function would evaluate to trt concatenated to the value present in treatment variable which is 2 so what is the value present in trt total here it is 20 so trt2 2 would take a value of 20 and then now let's see the third observation when sas is processing this third observation so in this catas function so we are concatenating the text trt to the value present in treatment which is 3 so trt3 and what will be the value present in trt total on the third observation it is 50 so trt3 would take a value of 50 so this is how we'll have three macro variables created with the structure trt1 trt2 and trt3 so the advantage of this code is that say for example if we have a fourth treatment with a value of say for example 25 so we don't need to change anything in this piece of code it automatically processes for the fourth observation in the same way as like trt4 would be created and 25 would be assigned so hope this is helpful thank you for watching and keep learning